Welcome back to the Athletes Authority and Gatorade Speed Series. Today we move on to part three. We've already exposed you to our preparation and our practice series. Now it's time to put it all together and start to move. Let's get started. Our first drill is gonna be our sled running. Now the reason we use the sled is because it allows us more time to hit some really good angles of acceleration so that we can get a good feeling of those positions. If we have access to a sled, typically we're gonna start with about 10% body weight on top of the sled. If not, then we can always use a resistance band with a partner being held in behind. And the main things we wanna focus on are being nice and aggressive and explosive, taking those first five steps. Our next drill is an acceleration with a rolling start. The rolling start allows us to enter into our run with a bit of momentum behind us so we can have a smooth entrance into that sprint. All we need to do for this one is start a few meters behind our initial starting line, take a few steps in before accelerating nice and smooth. The next drill is our acceleration with a two-point start. This two-point start is gonna force us to put more force into the ground without any momentum behind us so that we can push away nice and explosively. For this one, we're gonna start on the line in a split stance position. Most of our weight is gonna be on that front leg and then we're gonna drive the back leg through taking a nice aggressive first step. The final progression we have is our lying start. This is gonna force us to be in a much lower position to push out from, and that way we can extend our acceleration phase. To do this, we start in the bottom of a push-up position. From here, we're gonna push the ground away hard, bring our feet underneath our body, and try and get away from that line as quick as possible. Join us as we start to look at max velocity or our upright sprinting in part four of the Athletes Authority and Gatorade Speed Series, practice for max velocity.